Look how beautiful this place is. Hi, this is Josh from Shama Sandals and today we are in Glacier National Park. We're running the Avalanche Creek Trail to Avalanche Lake. Let's get going. Here we are in Glacier National Park. Super stoked to be here and good fortune of good fortunes. I got my cousin Eric who's gonna be hiding from the camera the whole time and my brother Sean. And it just so happened that Sean planned a trip to see my cousin in Missoula and we planned a trip. We ended up there at the same time. So here we are and they're gonna be super awkward. But I'm gonna play it cool. Anyways, this tra <laughs> So this trail I think is gonna be about five miles and all, all told and it's gonna be gorgeous. I can't wait till we get up to the lake. One little problem is this is grizzly country. Oh my gosh, snowshoe rabbit. Snowshoe. It's a snowshoe. Snowshoe? Yeah. Yeah, white. It's got white, white paws. Feet. Yeah, watch. I had one run past me at uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. It was a lot faster than you, huh? It was super fast. Look at those things. Big old white feet. Oh, man. Cool. Awesome start. Okay. So this is grizzly country. And we uh, took a lot of precautions to make sure that we brought two bottles. Three. No, I think we have three bottles of grizzly spray in the car. And at about like a tenth of a mile away from the car, my cousin Eric's like, oh yeah, we should probably bring the grizzly spray. But all of us are like, yeah, a tenth of a mile, that's just too far to to run to avoid save our lives. to save our lives from being mauled by grizzlies. Look at that water. Pretty rad, huh? Yeah. This is probably the most beautiful run or trail I've ever run on. If it's not the most beautiful, it's in the top two or three. My wife and I actually came here for our anniversary last year. And this part of the forest on the trail wasn't flooded. We're here a little later in uh, August. So anyways, a little change to the trail. It's awesome. Too long. It's been too Way long. Way too long. Been doing nothing but baking Toll House cookies with Willie. Or sleeping in the same bunk bed. Sleeping in the same bunk bed. To me, this is bear country right here. Really high vegetation. Zero visibility. Bears are just hanging out on the side of the trail waiting. Here we are, Eric. A lot of people. A lot of people. It's a popular one.
words don't really do it justice. Well, we lost Sean and we have no idea where he is. Eric, why don't you go back just a little bit? I'll stay on the lake. This isn't the first time we've lost Sean. One time at Circus Circus in Reno, he got left, he got left in an elevator. Oh, he, he jumped on the tram, right? There's like a little shuttle or something that takes you between the two buildings and he jumped on it. I forget how he got found, but he did. And he grew up and he's still getting lost. Our best guess is Sean fell behind. Eric and I went out on the lakefront to take in the view and Sean kept taking a trail. Okay, we found him. He totally did that. So now we're having to go up the side of the lake to find him. We were gonna run here anyway, but this is like a panic deer situation. We're trying to chase him down. He'll run over this mountain if we don't stop him. We found Bigfoot. Oh man, so elusive. Yeah. Unbelievable. Sean just put us on the chase of our lives. Now he's doing cartwheels over there. Sean! No, it's you! <laughs> Jeez. What was that all about, Sean? You ran in and you kept going. And then you got to a fork in the road and then you weren't waiting at the fork. <laughs> so I... We went to the beach where everyone is. That beach? Yeah. Where a million people are at that beach. Sean, in this time we've been talking about the time at uh, Circus Circus. When you got, and I got lost, yeah. Yeah. That was in the security guard. <laughs> Did you take the shuttle? I was too young, I don't remember it. Oh, okay. It's like maybe four. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Well, we're both really glad we found you. Oh, really yeah. glad. I just think that if you're gonna you're gonna run on ahead from somebody, you should wait at the <laughs> fork. When the path splits. That's, that's where we were. Oh, this is horrible. Make it happen, Eric. <laughs> Me yeah, I think you should do it. I'll do it too. Got it. All right, Sean, let's do this. So we're about a mile and a half into our return trip down the mountain. And I gotta say, Avalanche Lake was amazing. Um, all the views are great. And there's the lake itself, it's just fun. It's freezing, but it's great to get in a couple times and skip rocks. Be a great place for lunch. It's just an easy little hike. Anyways, great, great place to be.
So here we are. We made it to the end of the Avalanche Lake Trail Loop, if you will, there and back. And it was about five miles and we had a ton of fun. It was just amazing up uh, at the lake, swimming, throwing rocks. And then the trail running up is really technical and running back is really technical. So it keeps it interesting. And the run back is so much better because we, we had tons of uh, stamina, energy, um, just because we were running uphill. It was a lot of fun. And I just want to say thanks to Sean and my cousin Eric for coming on the run with us. And hope you guys had a good time. We'll see you next time on Run With Us. Later. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.